Hello everybody and welcome to What's in the Box. I'm joined by Kitty from Plastic Soldier and today we are having a look at one of my favourite parts of World War II, the Battle of Britain. So Kitty, uh, this is a box board game, yes? Yes it is. Alright, so uh, first thing to do in an unboxing is actually look at the gorgeous art that they've put on the front. My god, it's, it's beautiful. Gorgeous. It's it's one of those things you have to encapsulate just exactly what was happening and you've done it perfectly because you've got a few Spitfires but then you've got all the German aircraft yes. showing how outnumbered they were. On the back, it's going to show you what all your components are. If I turn it the right way up, it would be helpful. Uh, so it is off the south coast of Britain, north coast of France, yep. where this took place. And oh, some of the stories you hear about this from way back in the day, I mean, like some of the, the American pilots early war, whenever they were coming across yeah. as flight instructors <laughs> and then actually fighting. And then I believe you had a lot of like uh, Polish pilots during the era as well, yeah? Yeah, and it's also it's a, a, a history that I didn't know much about and since learning, mm -hmm. I've been playing a lot of this and it's quite nice. It's kind of, I've started learning so much about it. Nice, all right. Uh, so components inside the box. Uh, yes. First things first, we get the rule book. So this is going to be everything you need to learn how to play. Chock full of all the details, instructional man uh, diagrams, layouts for some of your tactical boards, yeah? Yep. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Breakdowns on your cards, and then just little bits of artwork scattered through. Is there any history and stuff written into this? Yes, there should be, and this is a, a streamlined, more... Uh, it's not a exact reprint mm -hmm. but a streamlined version of the classic battle of britain gotcha. so richard borg memoir 44 all those great designs yep. it's his version so gotcha Go. all right come down to the next layer we've got all of our different tokens and stuff so katie do you want me do you want to point out what some of these do yeah um so you've got these ones are not as interesting as some but it's still good so okay obviously when you're flying around yep. we're not just gonna let you fly oh sorry oh, you're okay. <laughs> we're not just gonna let you fly forever yeah and um, so you've got these are basically your fuel tokens mm -hmm. so when um the german are flying around they'll mm -hmm. spend different fuel tokens. gotcha uh you then got these which i believe are radar tires yeah yep. to show whenever they're detected we've got bombs yes uh we've got not detected to show whenever they're flying incognito uh more bombs and some raf symbols here uh next one down what have we got on these so these are, think about when you're kind of injuring a plane. So when you're bombing, you might take a plane out completely, mm -hmm. which is what these numbers will be um, here. And just think of them as hits as well. So it's just mm -hmm. different hits um, to the plane. So you might not have rolled enough to completely knock out a plane, but you've done some damage to that aircraft. Gotcha. Uh, next down, what is this board? So this is for the RAF, obviously. Mm -hmm. And this is, you can see the different uh, towns around the UK. Um, and the Britain, and again, this is to do with those tokens that we've just shown. So you've not, you might not have fully taken someone out, mm. but you might have done one damage to that aircraft. So it's yep. just keeping kind of track of that. So bookkeeping. Okay, yes. cool. Uh, we then have the different groups for flying and fighting. Yeah. So I'm guessing RAF. Correct. We have the Luftwaffe. Uh, we then have more for RAF. Uh, these are single-sided, and I'm guessing, how many players can you play in this game? Is it just so two-player? It's two-player, mm -hmm. and so the German, their side, you're going to be assigning missions mm -hmm. to different towns around Britain. So that's the boards in which you'll assign those missions, and your decks of cards that you're going to use during battle. Okay, next time we come to the main map, and this is big, so I'm going to do this on the front camera. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Okay, and so this is the area you would be <laughs> fighting across. South coast of England, north coast of France. And let's have a look here and see what all we can see on this map. So we've got all the different towns, we've got the different radar stations on here, so I'm assuming some of the German stuff is going to be trying to take out those stations? Yes, exactly. So the German will be placed around the board as if they were coming into Britain, mm -hmm. and during your first couple of turns you're going to be placing and trying to get over the border. Gotcha. Okay, moving further down into the box, we have our aircraft. We have two packs, so one for the Germans, one for the Brits. Uh, in fact, these are miniatures, so I'm going to actually get a closer look at these. Yes. You probably know a lot more about those than I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I know some of them, not all of them. I've... <laughs> See, this is why John describes me as a, a historical Padawan, <laughs> rather than a, a historical gamer. So, we of course have our British aircraft. 
And these are what we all know and love, the classic Spitfire. One of my favourite moments in my life so far is whenever I went to a local air show. Uh, what we had was two Spitfires and two Lancaster bombers in the air. Okay. And the sound of those engines. It's oh. so cool. Yeah. Yeah, Will, um, my boss, the owner, he's really interested. He's kind of really into his plane. So this is really excited for it. Yeah. Really excited for him. Uh, on the German side, we have two types of aircraft. So we have their fighter craft. Uh, I can't remember what it was. Is it the Messerschmitt, if I'm right? If I'm wrong, just post below. <laughs> and then we have the bombers, which, if I remember right, are probably Henkels. Uh, yes, am I right? Are you saying yes, I'm right? Yes, yes, <laughs> okay. you are right. Sorry, I'm like, yep. <laughs> All right, so that's the different types of aircraft, and these are going to be what's denoting your bomber groups, because I assume it's not just a an aircraft that you're seeing on the No, you've the got map. different groups around um, the board that are coming in from different angles. I see. And then we have these, which are the bases you guys have designed. They are. Now these always intrigue me to see how a company designs and deals with bases. So, I'm going to put one of our aircraft on here. And yeah, that fits lovely. So, if we have a look at that, that is how they're going to look whenever they're on their bases. Nice one. Uh, what else do we have in the box? Uh, ooh, what, is, what is this? This looks like a sticker sheet. Decals, yes. Ah. So this is going to um, note down, so you're going to stick these on the stands to note which um, aircrafts are which groups. Ah, I see. So it keeps it nice and organised and, you know, if you're necessarily not, if you're new to this kind of game, you're going to remember which aircraft is which. So. Yeah, so it's just more management. Yes. Okay, next up we have the custom dice. Mm -hmm. Now, is there British dice and German dice, or is it all one and the same? So they're weighted to which side they're on. So during battle, mm -hmm. um, the British dice will have a few of their own. So you can, you might do damage to your own aircraft when uh -huh. you you roll, but heavily towards German and the other way around. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, it's it's intriguing because this is showing one British and then three German, yeah, and two blanks. Whereas the other ones are showing three British, one German, and two blanks. So I'm guessing that's the different size, the white for the Brits. Different size. And yes. the blacks for the Germans. All right, we then have card packs. And hmm, you open that pack, I'll open this pack. Uh, hey! Sometimes card packs can be a real pain whenever you're trying to open them up. I can't even open them up. <laughs> <laughs> I can do it. Uh, okay, so... Uh, we have a lot of different card colours in here that are all mixed up. Is that deliberate? Or will we separate those? Yes, so you should, they'll be separate. So you should have some mission cards. Mm -hmm. uh, well, if I, I quickly start showing some. So we've got an orange one here, which is showing group 10. So these are for battle. So during battle, these are going to basically show you how many dice you're going to roll, how many damage you do, that sort of thing, and which aircrafts you're get rid of. Gotcha. We then have some German cards, so these are your missions. Yes, so the the boards we showed you earlier that had the different sections on, you're going to be assigning different planes to different missions on the board. I see. So we have a few of those. We then have more of the group cards, and I'm guessing it's just going to be a mixture of missions yes. and group cards for the rest of this. Okay, so this is interesting. I'm very curious to see how you would play it out that you're actually managing which squadrons are going to bomb which targets. Yes. Okay, and then our other deck there that you have? This is for the British. Uh-huh. It's up to you. Thank you very much. And they're just your, again, no missions because we're on the defence. Mm -hmm. But these are just cards, again, showing your attack and how many dice you're going to roll, mm -hmm. how many attack that you're going to, uh, or defence, sorry, and then any points you might get as well. Gotcha. Oh. It looks to be a very simple game. It doesn't look as if you're going to need a lot of brain power to actually learn to play, but I'm guessing mastering the control of your squadrons is going to be key to this. Exactly, yes. Yeah. So it's, we're trying to... We've got this thing about making war games more accessible and more open for everybody, so mm -hmm. it's quite light to actually play, mm -hmm. but there's different depths of strategy once you get going, mm -hmm. and the more you play it, the better you get at it. Hopefully. Awesome. <laughs> All right, well, everybody, that is the Battle of Brill uh, 
the Battle of Britain from Plastic Soldier Company Games. Uh, drop your comments below. Is this a part of the war that you've been curious to get some games in of? Would this be something that would tempt you into jumping into some historical games? We'll move on, get those comments in, and we'll see you soon. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now, and be sure to check out beastofwar.com for the latest gaming news and gaming let's plays. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.